in this video I want to show or I want to explain how we can write the equation of a line using the formula y y is equal to mx plus c this is the formula or well-known formula where by just looking at numbers where m and m and c are numbers now what is m m is the gradient m is the gradient which is rise over run which is equal to rise over run so rise is a number so rise is what you do vertically and run is what you do horizontally so this rise can be either up or down and this run can be either to the right or left so if you're going up it is said it is positive and if you're going down is negative if you're going to the right is positive and if you're going to the left is negative okay and rise you calculate rise you calculate how many steps or how many units you're going up or down and run you calculate by counting the squares or the units you're going to the right or left so rise is generally positive or negative okay rise can be positive or negative but run is generally taken as positive you can make it negative if you want to so yeah so when you have a line like this the equation should be y is equal to a number times x plus a number and what is c okay c is the y intercept y intercept is the point where the graph cuts the y axis so these are the two things the easy is to find the y intercept which is c okay so let me use a different color so this is the y intercept okay so it is cutting the y axis at 1 so we can say c is equal to 1 just like that and to find the gradient you can take two points any two points so this is one point and this is the other point so you can join these two points so let's see what's the rise here this is the rise so you're going up so m is rise over run so you're going how many steps up one two and you're going across two so two divided by two is one okay so let's go from this point to this point so if you go from this point to this point this is the rise and this is the run so the rise is 2 so this is 2 this is also 2 you can go like this this is 2 and this is also 2 so the same thing rise over run is 1 okay what happens if we take these two points instead of we know this number is 1 so let's take these two points, this point and this point. So here you're rising from 1 to 5 and you're going across from 0 to 4. So you count the squares 1, 2, 3, 4. So you're rising 4 up and you're going how much across? You're going 4 across 1, 2, 3, 4. Or you can also say well m is 4 over 4. That is also 1. So it doesn't matter, you can pick any two points and just count the number of squares you're going up. If the number of squares is going up by 1, each square is equal to 1. Okay, so you also need to look at the scale. If it is going up in 2's, each square means you're going up 2. So here it's very neat, you're going up by 1 square, so that's 1 unit. So 1, 2, 3, 4 up and 1, 2, 3, 4, one, two, three, four across. So the equation of this line is y is equal to 1x, uh, which is 1 is the gradient, plus 1. Okay, generally we don't write 1x, you can leave it like this. Generally, this is how people write y is equal to x plus 1, that's all. Okay, so let's understand, let's check whether the equation makes sense. Okay. So you can always, you should have that skill of checking your answer. So what is this coordinate? This coordinate is 0, 1. What is this coordinate? This coordinate is 2, 3. 
and this coordinate is 4 comma 5 this coordinate is 4 comma 5 so thus does the equation make sense so if you put x as 0 can, if you look at the coordinate of 0 and 1 can you see 1 is if you put 0 in place of x 0 plus 1 is 1 so when x is 0 y is 1 so this point is right when x is 2 y should be 3 that's what we got because 2 plus 1 is 3 and when x is 4, y should be 5. So 4 plus 1 is 5. So the equation is right. And you can all, you have always also checked it by looking at these points. OK. So like, let's look at this. Let's write the coordinate. So this is 0, comma 2. OK. This is how much? This is 1, comma 1, comma 4. And this is some of you can just look at the y, x, y and x coordinate and write the equation uh, and this is 2 comma 6 so we'll check that later whether the coordinates the equation that we write matches with the coordinates so the first thing that we can say is the y intercept so let me write the equation again y is equal to mx plus c is the equation of a line so what is c well c is the y intercept which is 2 okay and to find the gradient you have to find rise over run so let's take these two points so this is the rise and this is the run so you're going two up and one across so this is 2 over 1 which is 2 you're going up so that means positive so again you can check this you're going two up and one across two up one across that is same 2 over 1 okay so let's join these two points and see okay so if you join these two points what will happen so this point is 2 comma 6 so if you join from year to year this is how much up 1 2 3 4 and 2 across this is 4 up and 2 across so m m is 4 over 2 which is also 4 divided by 2 4 divided by 2 is also 2 so you've got the gradient you've got the y intercept so the equation of the line is y is equal to 2x plus 2 so let's check whether the answer is right or the equation is right always write the equation on top or near the on top of the line so y is equal to 2x plus 2 so let's understand the coordinates now so when x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0 plus 2 is 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. That's right. When x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. So when x is 1, y is 4. And when x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So this is how you can confirm the answer. And let's finish off with this. So let me write again y is equal to mx plus c. okay so what is the y intercept y intercept is so c is 4 and gradient so for gradient you have to join two points so let's join these two points so you're going down and then you're going across okay so you how much down you've gone one two three down and two across so you have to put negative so the rise gradient is rise over run. So because you've gone down, you have to put negative, And because you've gone across to the right, you put positive. So negative 3 divided by 2, which is negative 1.5. So use your calculator. Negative 3 divided by 2 is negative 1.5. And C is 4. So the equation is Y is equal to minus 1.5x plus 4. So let's check this on the calculator or uh, directly. So what is this coordinate? This is 0, comma 4. And let's check these two points. This is 2, comma 1. Am I right? 2, comma 1. Yeah. So when x is 0, what is y? Minus 1.5 times 0 is 0. So y should be 4. So that's we have confirmed. So this point is right. What is when x is 2, 
what should be y? y should be minus 1.5 times 2 plus 4. So let's do this without a calculator. If you want to use a calculator, you can use. So negative 1.5 times 2 is going to be negative 3 plus 4. That is 1. So when x is 2, then x is 2, y is 4. When x is 2, y should be 4. Oh, y should be 1. Yeah, sorry. It's always good to check. Negative 3 plus 4 is not. This is 1. So, when x is 0, y is 4. That's right. When x is 2, y is 1. That's also right. So, you can do this yourself. This point is when x is 4, y is negative 2.